Hey, how's it going? Hey, welcome to Tech Jungle. Here you can find news, reviews, and up-to-date information on some of the awesome technology existing in our world today. One piece of awesome technology that I picked up is the Google Pixel 3. And also got a protective case for it as well. Let's go ahead and unbox these, but before we do, just wanted to show y'all this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Bam. Got my own Tech Jungle t-shirt. Established 2017. Big old crazy tech gorilla on the front. Let me know if y'all like this. Maybe something y'all want to pick up. Just wanted to throw it out there. All right, let's go ahead and get these unboxed. All right, so here we got the Google Pixel right here. Let's go ahead and unbox this sucker. So, let's see, I think we got this pull tab here. Boom. The pull tab over here. All right. This thing just slides right open. Nice, nice. All right, we got the phone itself. Right off the bat, it feels nice and light. I actually like the way the feel of this phone. It feels really balanced, nice and light in the hand. Okay, I'm digging it. Let's see what else we get. All right, so we get the SIM ejection tool. Let's get started. We got Team Pixel stickers, very cool. Maybe I'll put it on my wife's car, she may not see it. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, and then we got some extra, I guess, verbiage, maybe some warranties and all that other stuff. So there you go. Typical kind of uh, high quality packaging right here as far as your stickers and your SIM ejection tool and all that. Good job, good job. All right, here we go. Here are the Pixel Buds. Very nice. I haven't tried these before, so kind of am to see how they feel. See. How, how much different they feel than uh, your you know your iPhone um, your iPhone air air AirPods earpods your iPhone earpods see how much different they feel and sound from those all right you get your a nice thick USB C cable right here okay let's see what else we get we also get USB-C to 3.5 millimeter female adapter. So you can definitely hook up some old school headphones. I know I have a bunch, so thank you Google for hooking that up. And then here we got the USB-C to USB adapter here. So you can go ahead and sync your old phone to the new Google Pixel and uh, make it a lot more easier to uh, get your stuff going on your new phone. And then obviously here is the power brick. This is a fast charging power brick right here. So excellent, excellent work, Google. So there goes the unboxing, nice and quick. Let's go ahead and move some of this out of the way and get to the actual phone itself. So. Oh, that feels nice. All right. Okay, right off the bat, this phone it just feels, it feels nice. I like this textured back here. And this is um, textured glass right here. So it's all glass back for fast charging. You got your speakers on the top and bottom. Now this is the Pixel 3. I didn't get the Pixel 3 XL because I didn't want the notch. Sorry, I didn't want to deal with it. I know you can put software, uh, you can implement software to hide the notch, but for me, I don't want it. Plus, I like smaller phones. I got the iPhone X, the smaller version, so for me, this is a perfect size. Let's go ahead and boot this thing on. Uh, while it's turning on, so here you have the power button, you have your, you have your power button, you have your volume rocker right here, you've got that single camera right there, you got the flash, you've got your fingerprint scanner right there. On the other side, you have absolutely nothing. And then on the bottom, you have your USB-C port, and then you also have your uh, SIM tray right here. Boom. Then on the front, you do have your two camera lenses right here. Then you also have top speaker, 
and you have the bottom speaker. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mess with this phone a little bit. I'll go ahead and boot it up and I'll be right back once I put my information in the system and I'll give you my thoughts and opinions. Overall, uh, kind of first impressions of what I think of the Google Pixel 3. All right, be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. Um, I've had a little bit of time to play with the phone and just gonna give you my initial impressions of what I think so far. Um, I like the build quality. Um, overall, the phone itself, it's, it feels solid. Um, I have no issues as far as this, uh, this textured glass back here. Now I've seen some reviewers um, test out the, the, the scratchability of this back panel and uh, Erica Griffin had a pretty good video on where she kind of rubbed keys on it and some coins and some other stuff and it left marks on it. However, she used a toothbrush under the water and she was able to get most of those uh, marks or abrasions out of the, uh, the glass itself because it's the glass that's actually scratching off particles of the metal that gives it these scratched, this scratched up look. So I'll go ahead and, and check out her video, how she explains how that process occurs. Um, if you have concerns on, on this particular glass panel, uh, scratching in your pocket with, you know, maybe a set of keys or some coins or whatnot. Um, but overall, uh, the design itself, I like this design. Um, it's thin, it's light, um, it feels good. I, again, I'm kind of getting away from the huge phones. I, I think I, I'm back in that area where I like the, the smaller one-handed phones. And so uh, the, the Google Pixel 3, it's, uh, you, can, you can get to it pretty easily with the, you know, your, you know, your thumb. And you know, I've got big hands, so maybe it's easier for me, but I just hate having to constantly shift up and shift down on these huge phones. So something where I can kind of go around with just one, one swipe and kind of get to most of my stuff, I like that. So uh, the design, uh, the screen itself, excellent. Uh, it's colorful, it's saturated. Um, let me see if I can get to a white background here. And let's see if we can test out, how does it look as far as the color shift? So I'm just gonna go to the settings panel here. And if I, if I rotate it to the side, I don't really notice a lot of that blue shift. Um, maybe slightly, however, you're gonna see that in a lot of these phones. So again, this whole blue shift issue, it's, it's, it's kind of been blown out of proportion. You don't really use your phone looking at it like this. I mean, who does that, right? You're looking at it head on. So that blue shift deal, to me, it's kind of a mute point. Um, but just wanted to show you that on the Google Pixel 3, you don't really notice it that, that much at all. Um, Speed-wise, it's a zippy phone. I mean, it's got stock Android on it. Uh, everything kind of just zips along. Um, I definitely want to have some more time to play with it to kind of give you my my uh, kind of one week impressions of how everything looks. But I've got to get used to the new gestures as well. I'm coming from uh, using an iPhone. So I'm kind of used to that one handed kind of swipe up and get to your menu and, you know, get to your contacts and all this stuff. I, I like that that gesture control right there. So that's something I'm actually going to start, you know, really using and just see if I can get used to it. It's probably gonna be a little bit similar to iOS, the way they have it impl implemented on the iPhone 10 and 10s. So uh, I actually like that, that, feature, uh, that feature that uh, the uh, Android Pie has implemented. So um, the speaker quality itself, let me go ahead and play a, a track here. Let me see, let me just find something here. The speakers are great. So the, you get dual front firing speakers here and they, they sound loud. I would say just as loud as the tennis that I looked at earlier this month. Um, you can feel the bass kind of shaking the back of the phone here. It's not really a good song to kind of test it out. Let me see if I can find something else here. There you go. Some of that classy jazz music. So yeah, it gets nice and loud. So 
So yeah, my overall uh, initial impressions of just you know unboxing it and just looking at the phone itself, I, I like this. I have never been someone who's really upset about you know a chin and a forehead. I mean, I think this is pretty good right here. If you can fit a, a speaker on on the front, on the front and the the front bottom and the front top, if you can fit. Uh, speakers in this area right here. You could probably slim it down just a little bit more kind of like how the Galaxy lineup has their phones Then I don't think you'd have a big issue Another thing that I do like about these phones like this one and the iPhone is that you don't have the rounded corners So uh, when you're holding the phone like this, you don't have to worry about accidental touches when you're touching the, the sides of the phone and that, that's kind of an issue that I had with the Galaxy Note 8 was that the uh, the rounded corners uh, with a with a screen kind of cascades over the side, I would sometimes get these uh, miscellaneous uh, touches when I'm actually trying to just navigate through the phone or just hold the phone and watch content. So I do like how it's just a flat panel, and I wish that more phones would just stay like that. Uh, so I do like that the Pixel 3 is kind of held true to that. Um, so the design, the screen, the zippiness of the software, uh, the implement of uh, Android Pie, and the way you can navigate through the menus. Uh, I'm really excited to test this phone out for y'all. Uh, if you have any questions, if you want me to do anything, um, any you know comparisons or you know camera tests or whatever, you know what? Let's let's go ahead and take a. Look. I got this Leonardo figure right here. That's my son's. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. Let's take a quick picture and see how that looks. If it'll set up for me. There you go. Stay right there, Raphael. Go ahead and clean this camera. Take a picture of good old Raph real quick. And look at that. I mean, it's a super crisp picture right there. Zoom in. You get kind of a blurred background effect going back here. Uh, Raphael comes in nice and sharp. And so I'm really excited to test this camera out. Um, I think when you pick up a Pixel, that's one of the things immediately that you want to do is go around and start snapping pictures everywhere. So I'm excited to test this camera out. I'll definitely have a, a camera review alone, just uh, just one single video, just reviewing the camera. I'm going to test, you know, indoor, outdoor, low light, uh, high dynamic range, all that stuff. So definitely excited to get that out there as well. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or you want me to test anything out, go ahead and leave in the comments below and I'll definitely look into it. Again, I appreciate it. Uh, you are watching Tech Jungle. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't and I'll have more content for you soon. All right, take care. I totally forgot. I have the uh, Google Pixel 3 case as well. This is that material, that kind of cloth material. Let's go ahead and take a look at this as well while we're at it. Oh yeah, I like that. It's, it's kind of a material, like a almost like a jean material, and it has a, a lot of texture to it, and it's really grippy. Let's go ahead and put this on here. There you go. That's a nice case. You get very little to no lip protection here, so if it hits the ground, face first, more than likely it's going to crack the screen. So you want to invest in a screen protector for sure. But uh, this is just a quick look at the Google Pixel case as well. I think this one ran for, I think $45 on the Google Pixel store. So if uh, you want some protection for the back of your phone for sure and the sides, uh, this is a good case to get. But I would definitely advise you to get a screen protector because look at that, you get no lip protection whatsoever. So just a quick look at the Google Pixel case and the Google Pixel phone. Again, this is Tech Jungle. I appreciate y'all watching and I will see you on the next video. Y'all take care. All right, bye.